What's going on guys, Dan the Batman here. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to be changing the oil in my 2014 Z51 Corvette. Let's get I have my Mobile One oil filter here. This is the uh, M1113A. Protects up to one year, 20,000 miles. And I will be filling it with nine and a half quarts of 5W30 Mobile One. That is the GM recommendation. And if you take your car and get service, more than likely, that's what they're gonna be using to top it off. Uh, nine and a half quarts of 5W30. Only for the dry sump system though. I think the um, the wet sump is like six and a half quarts if I'm not mistaken. But because I have a dry sump, um, you have to uh, <coughs> fill up the um, the dry sump system as well. So it requires a couple extra quarts of uh, additional. Now we're all jacked up. So the recommendation for the oil is going to be, um, when you're gonna change it at least, for it to be at least like 170 degrees, that way it comes out and flows pretty easily. So obviously if the car's been sitting for a while, it's a little cold, the oil's probably gonna drain a little slow, it'll take a little longer. But um, again, uh, drive it around to wherever you're gonna take it, maybe up the street or whatever, or even letting it run for like, you know, five or 10 minutes, that should heat it up enough to where if you're gonna do it yourself, um, that'll give enough time for the oil to heat up. And when you start to take the drain plugs out, the oil will come out with no problem, but I'm about to start doing that right now. So again, just to reiterate, for the dry sump system, you're gonna have two drain plugs, 15 millimeter right here and you're gonna have a another one right here on the side for the dry sum system and then you have your oil filter obviously right there so again make sure you do both of these because if you don't then you're only just draining the pan and um not the dry sump pump so make sure you get both of those off but go ahead and start loosening these up and another them big point i just broke both of these loose um to uh make sure when you tighten these down these drain plugs they don't have to be super super tight you don't have to use heat man straight to tort these things down uh the manual only recommends about 18 pounds which is really not that much so if you got a torque wrench use a torque wrench otherwise snug it up hand tight that's all you need these things are not going to come off when you do them super tight you can drive them around the metal heats up they're going to be very 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 difficult to get off and you might you know end up um stripping the threads which obviously is a uh, problem so make sure if you um are going to be doing this and they are on super tight you might want to pick up a couple extra of these uh drain plugs they are 15 millimeters so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and get the oil start running out all right see the oil is nice and hot it's coming out really really nice and easy flow that's exactly what you want i did not open up the hood and take off the um uh the cap because uh, this will give you that nice even stream. You can do that, but uh, if you do that, then this stuff is gonna start coming out in spurts and it's gonna be a little more messy. So if you leave that cap on underneath the hood, when you uh, start draining it, it'll come out nice and easy just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this other one on the side here. So I just loosen up the filter, just let some of that drain off a little bit before I go ahead and uh, take it all the way off. <clears throat> and uh, with the, uh, the filter as well, some people say just hand tight, some people say torque them a little bit. Um, GM recommends that this filter is torqued down to about 22 pounds. I mean, I can guarantee you, it quite, I mean, that much torque on these is probably not absolutely necessary, but if you wanna make sure you're preventing leaks, I mean, by all means, you feel comfortable torquing down to 22 pounds, that's fine. But this thing was on probably about a little more than hand tight, pretty snug, and I've not had any leaks whatsoever. So again, that's up to you. I'm doing my own oil changes. If you do them, then you know, you can torque it down as much as you want to. I'm not gonna make it that tight. All right, after I get the filter off, I'm just gonna go up in here, clean off where this filter is gonna go. I call this access off, access give my English and then uh, put the new filter on and then we'll lower it down and start filling her up yeah and this is the filter I'm using the mobile one m1 113a a very important step as well with this is to make sure you get some oil on your finger um, go ahead and put it around this gasket that is a very 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 important step because last thing you want is this gasket coming off and getting stuck um, up onto the car that's a pain in the butt to deal with. So make sure you dip some on your finger or glove or whatever. I'm obviously uh, wash my hands and all that. 
but um, afterwards, and uh, go ahead and put some around the rim before you seal this thing right, back so up. So the last step is to come over here, remove the cap, and start filling her up. Set the whole life. You're gonna go use the um, selector. Go to info. that pretty much sums it up um like i said it's really simple it's not hard at all i would recommend doing it it's not that difficult get you a jack uh some jack stands um the oil the oil filter um, the right wrenches and that's about it i would say probably the most difficult part was the oil filter because it's got like this little just the way it sits in there is real tight but um with the right tools it's not difficult at all but anyways thanks for watching appreciate it tell everybody about it spread the good news um Dan the Eagle Man is gone, but Dan the Batman is here, and we're going to be doing a lot more to this car. So, thanks for checking the channel out, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Peace.